Hey there! Today I will talk about T-cell derived DICOV1 controls bone homeostasis and contributes to the pathogenesis of estrogen deficiency induced bone loss. What? Okay, let's have a look at the bone. There are three important cell types. On the one hand, the osteoplasts, which build up and mineralize the bone matrix. These derive from the MSCs. Then there are the bone resorbing osteoclasts, whose precursors are hematopoietic stem cells. Additionally to them, there are also the so-called osteocytes, which are known as mechanosensic cells that orchestrate the regulation of the two bone cells. Estrogen deficiency. What does this mean? Under physiological conditions, estrogens promote osteoplast differentiation and function, while they suppress osteoclastogenesis. This is, on the one hand, mediated through reduced trunk reproduction by MSCs, osteoplasts, osteocytes, and activated T-cells, but also due to the reduced expression of sclerostin and DICOV1, two wind inhibitors which have been shown to be dysregulated in various bone diseases. Even though DICOV1 has been extensively studied during the last years, it is yet unknown how DICOV1 contributes to the pathogenesis of estrogen deficiency induced bone loss. By using the Crelox P system, we generated four different knockout mice in which DICOV1 is deleted either globally in osteoprogenitors, osteocytes, or T cells. Here we show that DICOV1 produced by T cells but not osteogenic cells contributes to the pathogenesis of estrogen deficiency induced bone loss. Furthermore, co culture experiments revealed that T cells, dependent on their activation status, can influence osteoplast differentiation. Activated T cells exhibit an increased DICOV1 expression and resulted in reduced osteoplast differentiation, while inactive T cells promote osteoplastogenesis. If you want to know more, come to my talk on the 14th of May at the ECTS Congress. This video is presented by the Bone Lab.